All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how to go into Zoom to set up a permanent Zoom room that is not your personal room. So maybe if you have a class or something like that. So if you go to zoom.us.edu, uh, sorry, just zoom.us, and it's going to add, if you click on that sign in in the upper right corner, it brings you to this page. You'll put in your uh, user info and you'll select sign in. Once here, you're going to go to schedule a meeting and you can name this meeting whatever you want. I might call it, you know, uh, class meeting, something real complicated, right? So you have a bunch of info right here that you can actually just skip right over. You're going to select recurring meeting and then once you're down here, it's going to ask, you know, the recurrence under that recurrence, select no fixed time. Now notice when you do that, a lot of the dates and stuff just ultimately disappear. And at this point, you can you know choose your adjusting settings. You can just maybe, if you want, turn on the waiting room instead of the passcode. Uh, some of this might require different institutional settings. Again, you can decide if you want um, videos on or off, audio, and then some other options just in case. Uh, allow participants to join anytime. So all these different options um, that you may want to use for whatever reason. If there's another institutional person um, that you also want as co-host so they can come in and be your backup, you can also put their email in here. So you do all of that and then you hit save. It will show you this is the information that you need to know. The invite link will be right here. Um, this will tell you just a little bit of that information. You have the meeting ID. You can copy the invitation and that will that copying invitation doesn't just include the link, but uh, often the other relevant information like call-in numbers, meeting ID, all of that. So all of this looks good. Um, if it's fine, you have everything you want, you can start and that will start the Zoom meeting itself. Otherwise, you can just come up here back to my meetings and you'll see that it should show up, yep, right here where it says class meeting. Um, so now you have that link, you can share it with your students, and uh, now it's just, it's always there. You don't have to do one each week or, you know, have to make it show up in any way. Uh, you can actually do a calendar invite from your own calendar system and just pop that link that we saw on the previous screen. So hopefully this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.